I I actually re reactivated this um, daily sync with Audrey. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, she wasn't able to join today. Um, basically, there are a couple of important things that are happening, and I I sent out an invite I think for Thursday or so, something for uh, you, Audrey, and Wout. Uh, me to connect and kind of discuss the actual, you know, viability, sustainability aspect of Corona OI, because as we're entering this, um, you know, this new stage where we're thinking, hey, what is a volunteer? Hey, what is a paid contractor? What is a consultant? Who hmm. who's going to pay lawyers? Like where where this money will come from if there is no like major grant or or something like that, and it's. It's just there are so many different ways to solve this that uh, I'm also like personally I feel uh, the least um, you know the least experienced to actually manage this situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm trying to get more bright minds together to to figure this out. No, it it is tricky because actually I think on a why is evolving and transforming itself. Let's say from a very open source dynamic and uh, free environment to one uh, where you should remain actually the same, but be anchored in the real world. And I think that anchoring is, is key because you don't want it to kill actually what drove, uh, let's say, the, uh, the emergence actually of the community. And that's why I think I work mostly actually on trying to preserve that space with the concept of the gift economy and then trying to slowly bring some concepts to, to, do, to keep that space as it is, actually without really going straight to, uh, let's say, the traditional structure simply because you need funding. And I think this is what is really key today is to say, okay, fine, there is a need for funding, there is a need for resources, but uh, it should still, uh, let's say, support the initiative and, and this is why i think um the, the document i did actually i think it was two weeks ago although highly conceptual i think that the key message was really to say look maybe there's not one solution to one problem maybe there is multi-dimensional solution to multi-dimensional problem and that's why i've tried to kind of bring forward this kind of multi-layer you can bring up that document and yeah. uh, there, there is something I'm yeah, I have it actually on. Okay, I'll, I'll share my screen. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Because there are some things that, uh, you know, I, I've been observing that fall into the lines of the, the diagrams that you've described. And so that, that, that's kind of the, the first diagram, I think. Um, to, 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 the, the, two, the two concepts actually I really want to bring is actually first this multi layer uh, uh, dynamic where you have on top a little bit actually what Kona Y is initially, which is this kind of cooperative, open, community, free. Um, then you have actually one platform where you need to manage that, um, be it actually preserving that openness uh, and freedom, uh, call it the gift economy or whatever, and then also anchoring it into reality. And the anchors will be product services or projects, as you described actually one of the last call. But I think um, product and services uh, entail a certain type of value being created and uh, maybe a counterpart to it. And that's when we go into barter economy. The counterpart could be credits, for example, for your Amazon or whatever Google platform or whatever other type of service you need. Um, but then there could be also the monetary economics by generating different types of revenues. And those revenues could be licenses, whatever. And then these could, of course, finance the platform, but then also go back one way or another to this kind of gift economy by having something back to the producers, actually, of the value being created. And, uh, and this is a thing where um, there could be some, some, some interesting thinking, uh, because then actually, when you have that concept actually in place, then it's, it's easier to kind of bring traditional incumbent uh, instruments to, to map it or to anchor it. So then is it a B Corp or is it some kind of a call option on future revenues? Or, anyway, then you have a lot of actually creativity that can be driven. And uh, hi, Audrey. Um, and and um, so, so that's actually the first point. It's really that 
multidimensional approach to multidimensional problem or opportunities. I think and that slide was something which I found quite useful to kind of try to define what we're trying to, to achieve. Yeah. And, uh, and then the second is actually a potential outcome is to try to define what Corona Y is all about. And if you take that approach, for me, it's really this first step, some kind of a funnel innovation process or engine. And at the end, the true value is to say, look, through Corona Y, you can access unique innovation, not because we're brighter or not because we are the right place at the right time, simply because we have a different process to get to it. And that process is, again, that open, cooperative, gift type of dynamic, which is highly nonlinear. So actually, innovation emerges without any, I would say, um, agenda, uh, if we can, of course, sustain it. And then this is why we need that platform in the middle to anchor, let's say, this innovation into reality, cash flows, governance, uh, shareholding structures, whatever. And then what emerges are those products and services. And some of those can be given against, let's say, specific products and services, like in barter, or some of them can generate revenues. And this could be licensed revenues going back to finance the platform or multiple platforms. And then, see, based on that passport, uh, let's say, or golden journal concept, uh, if digitally you can trace the impact of people, some of the revenues go, could go back to individuals. And that could be some kind of, let's say, the return on the gift beyond the high purpose, let's say, of being part of the community, making a difference and addressing a key challenge. But eventually you could have that call option, financial call option of saying, look, maybe the project on which you worked actually generated revenues down the road and we have a way to trace it. And we can maybe provide you with a percentage of that, let's say, fund being generated but of course this is kind of only unusual uh, it would be linked to technology and would be quite um, let's say innovative um, but um, but that could be again let's say fit into that kind of funnel innovation process engine of explaining people at the end we come with product and services we are a certain culture and community but we are also developing a new incentive let's say mechanism that can be highly impactful. Yeah, absolutely. And you know that middle part is the, the biggest challenge. The, the, the first slide, the, the middle part of the, yeah. um, you know, the anti, because that's the part that actually requires, you know, operations, you know, people mm -hmm. that are, you know, full time onboarding people, you know, routing them, uh, managing calls, scheduling calls, you know, all mm. of these operational routines that somehow we're managing ourselves distribute in a distributed manner. But even like knowledge preservation, you know, structuring the, the current um, documents, all of these things, we wish we could automate that. But for now, it, it has to be humans uh, that are kind of employed in a way that you know because there is no way someone can volunteer that crazy amount of time and effort but th this is actually the concept of uh, those um, governance circles i kind of um, put on that on that slide is to say that at the end um, you could um, let's say uh, agree to being part of the circles because based on your skills or relationships whatever uh, but if you're part of the circles, maybe you can do it for six months, three months, or even longer, but uh, there could be a deal at saying, look, if you go in the circles, you have to commit, you have certain responsibilities, but you will also get something in return. See, some kind of opportunity cost um, for, for your time. So what you could maybe actually, but then again, that's kind of innovative, but what you could say is at the end, um, you will not fund, um, let's say, people, but you will fund those circles and we will populate those people to really achieve the right outcome for the community. So at the end, you could go to a foundation or whatever and say at the end, what we need is for that process to be, let's say, anchored and structured, whatever. We, know we need those circles, but those circles will not mean that we have a team that will be there for the next 10 years. We would just have the right people to, to, to perform, let's say, the role of the circle but it might be a little bit more dynamic because people might have less or more time or maybe less or more commitment. But 
maybe there, there, there could be something there which could be could be interesting to explain um, and keep some of the fluidity that actually uh, Kona why had at the beginning. Or well, otherwise, you could just decide that actually like the last call that the top, let's say, 10 people, 15 people being committed could have some responsibilities in some of those circles. So, uh, hi guys, what, I, what I will just add in very quickly, and I won't be able to stay long because this hour is really rough for me. I'm, I have to deal with Yeah, have a call in two minutes. Um, uh, just really quickly, is it possible to test or trial the configurations that you're describing in either a partial, in a partial hybrid uh, type of approach where we may be able to build guidance or a little bit of func easy uh, functionality, uh, if that's of interest. I don't mean to sound presumptuous, I'm just putting it out there. We could take and build a little bit of functionality to enable some of these dynamics or at least guide people in this direction. Um, so it's partial, it's kind of, uh, guided directions and, and um, instructions as to how the rules might work in a particular circle, or you might actually have a little bit of function that enshrines some of those interactions. And if, it's a, if there's an easy way to put together like a 10 step specification to be able to achieve that, we can test some of this around the Corona Y pipeline provided we actually get to populate the pipeline. And I've, I'm re I've been remiss, obviously, but um, Arthur, when, when we're ready with the projects and their profiles, I'm at the ready to upload those. I just need to know where they are. And you probably cool. pointed- so we, have, three times. we have that call on Thursday or Wednesday, I don't even remember when. Let's make okay. sure that we have as much ready for that call as possible in terms of the pipeline. And uh, that will be a, a call de designated to how do we make this happen? Like, what's the next step? Okay. Uh, I, okay. Have, I have to run to another call too, okay. but I, I actually think, yeah, this slide is a good structure, but we need to fill it out um, in, in some way. And Derek, if it makes sense, maybe you and I, can, if it's helpful, uh, maybe you and I can connect during the, you know, the, the, the workday hours um tomorrow or next day or whatever and see and let me know if there's anything that i can do on the system side on the technical mm. and system side no i think i think that would be helpful so it's, this is something i did two weeks ago actually um i had a discussion also with Valt. you also saw that um but i wanted to discuss with both of you and, and others actually to see actually what would be the best approach but um, yeah. it's a little bit top down but but i think it can be complementary to maybe to more traditional uh, approaches but that map i think is a good start to try to understand actually what could come out actually on the process product services and understand actually what type of revenues could be driven from yeah i would love to to have you guys connect uh during your daytime and uh have some you know discussions on this too it would be super helpful to us um, all right, uh, I'll wrap the, this one up. Uh, this was helpful. I'll upload the video and uh, let's sync during the week and prepare for that uh, longer meeting um, that will okay. also include Wout. Okay, great. Cool. Okay. All right, sounds good, guys. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.